Bam. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 40 of my Minecraft every people every every people Hey guys, welcome back to episode 40 of my Minecraft every let's play series 40 holy shit 40 that's a lot of episodes Holy crap Just the realization of how many episodes that is is just sitting in right now Well in comparison to other things, maybe not but anyway for me. It's a lot um today. I wanted to continue Magica Magica. Well, not exactly magic, but it's astral sorcery. Would you call it magic, or would you call it manipulation of star energy? Who knows? But, um, I was enjoying it this a lot. Uh, I, just, I just haven't been able to record uh, over the last week at certain points, so... Finally getting back to this, so... Yeah, I set up this little area, I did a little Twitch stream, and we, um, hanged out with a few of yous, and we set up this little area. That was fun. Um, I've had to reorganize this area slightly and pump it up one block because of some problems but uh for the most part it's working pretty well i gotta fix that at some point all right so let me just go put away a bunch of my shit cool and we can continue where we where we were starting off from um i'm not sure if i should read everything on camera or if i should just sum it up for you guys uh let me know in future you're about you're about to understand what i mean in a second so, some people don't enjoy the magic stuff, and when I don't do anything that isn't me shoving a face hugger down someone's throat, uh, apparently a lot of people enjoy that. You sick fucks. Um, anyway. Where's the book? I wanted to talk to you about what I mean. So, last episode, when I was at, when I, while I'm exploring this mod, um, alongside other people who have never explored it before, would you just like me to read the entire thing, then give you like a one sentence wrap up of what that thing is and cut out all the reading? Or are you okay with me reading everything and making the episode like 40 minutes long? <laughs> just let me know. Um, probably do half half today because uh, this same thing's going to happen when I reach, um, when I start doing some other mods. So awesome. Okay. So what were we up to? What were we up to? Um, yes, we're up to the next section and the exploration thingy. Cool. So, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Nocturnal powder. Ooh, so, I just read that entire thing, but I cut it out. Um, then I'll just give you a rundown of what this thing is. It's a magical powder that spawns creatures that don't usually spawn. <laughs> That's what I mean. Do you want me to do it like that? Or you want me to read the whole thing? Do, but I, I'm just curious, okay. Okay. Sextant. Cough. Uh, due to the exacting nature of, stru of the structures required to man manipulate star energy flows, sometimes it can be maddening to constantly double-check the architecture of structure when things aren't going right. By modifying a navigational sextant to be sympathetic to magical starlight energies, you end up with a tool that helps navigate the placement of structure blocks, even going as far as to indicate when materials have been misplaced. Because of the energy signatures involved, the sextant is also able to pick up on the resonations of the ancients, guiding you to various structures they left behind. You cannot help but feel the faint draw of something unknown and far beyond your perception when holding this sextant. While holding this uh, sextant to your eye, you are able to see those energies coalesce as a star in the sky at night, dragging and dropping the structure onto the star displayed will lock the sextant onto its location if the color frequencies match, allowing you to easily navigate to it during the night. Selecting a different star and locking its frequency will change your navigational target for the sextant. Imagine holding one in each hand. Interesting. So that's what it's like when I don't skip the reading. You guys getting it now? <laughs> Which one do you want? So I couldn't m sum this up as, it's a device that finds shit. See, we've got the simplified explanation of what this thing is. And then we have the like one minute read down. 
Um, personally, I enjoy the read down more, but anyway, I say we, vote. we I say we just start crafting all this shit, even if we don't even know what it does. Uh, let's first also read everything here. Um, I'm not going to read all of it on camera. I'll just give you the rundown of what each thing is. Infused wood. Cool! So you can infuse starlight into wood to make some really sexy wood. Next! So essentially this thing is exactly what it says, a light well. And we can gather starlight liquid inside of it. Um, once we place it down as well, we need to put a rock crystal on the top or a gem to concentrate the starlight into it. So that's cool. Next! Alright, so this is a device that essentially helps us track down very high concentrations of starlight in certain areas. Uh, it explains that we can do it uh, without it, but this just makes it a lot more easier. This does the same thing according to what I've just read. Slightly confused, but I'll figure it out, don't worry. Oh, I see. There's another page. Interesting. Um, so basically, I've just placed this really high up in the air and it collects starlight and... I assume it distributes it to nearby things. Ah yes, the starlight is then redirected as small sparks to the nearest altar. And that's the starlight crafting altar, the one we don't have yet actually. Holy crap, that's big. Ooh, ooh, this is a big boy. So, um, that thing I was just explaining before, this dude. Uh, that'll give energy to that dude, I think. Um, essentially, this is just a, the next upgrade in the crafting mechanics for this mod. So, it's just a huge multi-structure. That I really wish would tell me what to use. It's right there, never mind. <laughs> so, this thing is a telescope stick. I'm going to call it that. Um, and it allows me to see constellations. As long as I have discovered the random pieces of paper that have the constellation locations or whatever on them, which I can find from all the different random generated structures. So that's cool. Hey look, it's magical torches. It's that little thing, it's the thing that this thing emits. The cave thingy? Wherever the fuck I put it? Yeah, there it is. That thing. So I can manually place um, the lights this thing emits with this stuff. Interesting. So we can grow these crystals we get from underground. We can grow inside liquid starlight. Ah, come back. So that's cool. That's um, yeah, crystal growth. Interesting. Oh, this tells me tells me that all, all the rock crystals we mine are all completely unique, and we can grind off small bits and shape them with a grindstone, which seems easy enough. Cool. Oh, this is cool. So you can make, um, different tools out of crystals, and depending on what sort of attributes each crystal has, that'll apply to the tool. And also, these things never break, but they deform over time, but you have to use a grindstone to reshape them each time they deform. So that, that, I, I have never encountered that ever before. In any other mod, that's awesome. And there's the grindstone. Cool. So this is the grindstone. Uh, it specifically says that you can't automate it with machinery, which I assume many people would try. That's cool. That's everything here. So the plan is um, to make this new starlight altar or whatever uh, the hell it's called, and we can have a pretty place for pretty things. Very nice. By the way, before we go ahead and do that, uh, I've been having some problems, okay? So, oh yeah, let's blow that shit up. Um, I think Nunku's chucked in some new schematics into the pack. Alright, so I think I've read everything here. So essentially the plan is we got to build a huge crafting altar, uh, which will allow us to do more things and gather starlight as well. So we're gonna need shit tons of marble, I'm pretty sure. So, if we have a look here, marble, interesting. Awesome, uh, before we do that, there's a thing I need to mention. So, when I thought of keeping dinosaurs to guard my area, 
I never thought that I would need to keep them fed. Because, you know, it's Minecraft. You don't need to keep things fed apart from yourself. You know, I'm a horrible pet owner in Minecraft. <laughs> so every time I put a T-Rex outside, it dies of starvation. Because I forget about it. So, we've gone through like four Rexes. Um, you guys only saw Ripley, the first one. I put another three Rexes out there over the period of like a week and a half. Each time they die because I forget to feed them. So we have a, we have a really, really, really bad... We've got a problem, okay? <laughs> um, yeah. I know there's the automatic feeders, but they do run out. Because the dinosaurs just keep eating shit continuously. Because, you know, they need to eat, apparently. Um, <laughs> so there's that problem. I'm just trying to think of a nice sort of active defense thing we can do. I'm just not entirely sure what to do. Dinosaurs is definitely a no-no. I mean, at some point, I want to chuck my Velociraptor army at some sort of Yelcha establishment or a hive and see how that goes. Because I've been building it. Um, they look insane. There's like so many of them. Uh, however, it's a short-term sort of thing because you need to keep them fed. Hooray! I hate feeding them. They're annoying. Oh my god. So, um, if you guys have any any ideas for some like active creature-esque things that we can perhaps tame or do to keep our outside area slightly safe, let me know. Uh, cause I'm not really sure. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of op options in this, in this conglomeration of mods. There's just so many that it confuses me, so. That's awesome. Okay. Alright. Wait, how are we doing on sentry guns? Do we have any new sentry guns? No, we don't. Okay. Oof. Alright, so... I'm gonna have to gather marble. Shit tons of marble. I'm pretty sure... Can I, like, use any marble? I can't use the quark marble. It has to be the astral sorcery marble, I'm pretty sure. So essentially, it's time to vandalize. <laughs> uh, let's go vandalize something. This place looks great. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna beat the shit out of this entire place. Give me all the stuff. Oh, hang on. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. Okay, this is... Okay, 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 okay. I know how to do this. Use the exchanging block thingy. Let's go craft some torches. Okay. Let's place the torch down. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh god, don't explode. <laughs> okay. Exchange your gadget. And... Oh, shit. I need to change my macros. Okay. So, let's extend the range to like 15. And begin. You know, it, it occurs to me that I might actually just be able to set it up here with everything that's already set up, but, um, I don't want to, so we're just gonna take everything here. Hey, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yay, we're replacing all the marble and getting it all in our inventory and winning. Winning! What's even better is as I replace all the, um, marble with torches, this water's just getting rid of the torches, so I get all the torches back on top of everything else. Which is really neat. <laughs> is that a chest? Oh, Constellation paper. Oh, Constellation paper. I discovered Amara and Aviti Avatars. Interesting. Okay. Oh shit. I think my magnet ran out of energy. That's why I'm not picking anything up anymore. Did it? Oh no, it's still going. It's just being a lazy fuck. Or maybe my inventory was full. Either one works. And I think that's it. I salvaged all the marble. And we break this too. 
Oh god. It's sparking! This might be bad. I'm gonna do it though. It's happening! Please don't explode. Don't kill me. It's not working. I can't break it. What do I get the feeling that I need to mine that particular special already set up one with a crystal pickaxe? That might make sense. We'll let you be for now, okay? We'll be back for you, alright? We'll be back. Ah, I can't be bothered breaking that. Okay, cool. We got everything we need. Okie dokie. Um. Second floor. That is not it. Okay. Now, we already have marble set up. Well, not marble set up. I mean, like, it's inside the ender chest that's over here. We'll quickly move this ender chest to further in. This is not going to be big enough for what we need. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> yep. This is definitely not going to be big enough. Uh, so, I assume we'd have some sort of, some sort of stairway going up here. I'm not building it now. Holy shit. Um, so, a stairway would come up here. We could have the crafting altar area, like, in the middle of the pond, perhaps? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh my god, this is... I love this. This is great. When I see Nanku again, I'm gonna say thank you. This is, like, really, really relaxing. Um, okay. First things first, I'm the realist. Let's, um... Craft this thing. So we need a rock crystal. Pillars. Marble. 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 Oh, and liquid star starlight. So we need to make that... This thing first. Interesting. So we need ruined marble. Chiseled marble. Rock crystals. And ruined marble. Aquamarine. Light well. Need to wait until it's night time. Ah. Okay. It is night time. Can we continue crafting? Oh my god, let me out, please. There we go. Yes, we can. Sweet. So... Oh yeah, that's right. We need the wand. Wandy wand. Awesome. So, this thing will just collect starlight, I'm pretty sure. Granted, it gets starlight. Oh yeah, that's right, we need to place a rock gem on top of it, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's cool. Pretty. Uh, let's get some light here. This is so dark. Back home! Oh, that's cool. Um, now we just need a bucket. Oh, it needs to fill up completely, I'm pretty sure. Um, can we craft anything else while it's still nighttime? Because I'm, like, on limited time here. Alright, let's get a spectral relay, which needs glass lens. More aquamarine. Okay, so... Do we actually just need acacia planks? Is that the only plank we can use? Oh my god, we're getting so much lag because we keep jumping from one chunk to another. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Um, bucket. Yay! Starlight. Uh, also, this thing will give me... Ooh, cool. I have night vision now! Oh, that's cool. Oh my god. I can shower. I can shower all my minions in this. They all have night vision. Sweet. Um, holy shit, you're gathering starlight really fast. Don't crash. Oh my god. There's another one. Sweet. Um, okay, so... Special relay. What 
1d1. Cool. Um, then the actual spectral relay. Gold nuggets. <coughs> okay. Finally. Okay, so what next? Focus resonator? Cool. Uh, I got all that. Just need gold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill someone in a second. Holy crap. No, no, it's okay. I don't have to go back. What do I? You can't craft normal stuff in here? That's bullshit. Don't worry, we'll do it. We'll figure out how to break the system. I'm not going back. There we go. <laughs> cool. Resonator. Marble? I really don't have marble. Oh, that's chiseled marble. Re? Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. Uh, sextant next. Need more gold. Haha! <laughs> -ha! Can I get another starlight thingy, please? Thank you. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh my god, we're filling up on inventory. <laughs> oh, the lag. Oh my god, so I've jumped so many times between chunks. Alright. Sextant. Oh, shit! No! It's daytime! <laughs> please. Please don't do this to me. Please. <laughs> okay, we're back. Can we do this yet? Yay. Okay. Where's Nunkuk so I can kick him in the ass? This is actually a little bit annoying now. It's not relaxing having to sit in the fucking- uh, sit, sit still during the daytime just to fucking continue. Astral Sorcery. Holy crap. So we got that thing? We good? What the fuck? You broke already? Jesus Christ, dude. I only have one left. Fucking hell. Relax. Okay. And... Is that it? Oh yeah, then just a starlight crafting altar. Oh shit! We need another crystal. God damn it. I'll uh, we'll put the grindstone like here for now. I'm gonna make this look so much more better. I'm gonna like build an area that goes up here. But um There's already enough footage of me just fucking around with astral sorcery. I don't think you guys wanna see me build. <laughs> okay, last two crystals, then I'm gonna have to go mining again for more crystals. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh you some of you guys said if I dig straight down, um that that crystal energy thing that was popping up over the top of here. It's actually not more concentrated starlight. It if I go straight down, I can find more crystals. So yeah, thanks for telling me that, guys. That was that was neat. Okay. Bam. Oh, cool! Nice! Nice. Oh, my thing expanded again. I learned more. Attunement. Oh. Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Holy shit. Holy crap. Oh, I can transmute things into other things. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. There's a lot. Holy crap. Shooting stars, written expertise, telescopes, alignment charges, ritual pedestals, rituals accelerations. Holy crap. Is this something I can do off camera? I'm not sure. If you guys want to see more of this, just let me know. Um, let me just finish this structure thingy. So I'm going to have to move this guy. And... There's some marble. Where's the marble we don't have to... Where's some shitty marble we don't- we can't make the structure out of? There we go. This marble's from, um, Quark. Yeah, that's cool. So, um...
Okay, there's a lot more than I thought. There's a whole shit ton. Uh, let me guys know if you want to see one more episode of um, Astral Sorcery. If not, I can just do the rest of off camera. I can play with this mod off camera. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh my god. Um, or we can come back to it another time. But I just want to get this finished. This one little crafting altar thing. Um, cool. Okay, so that's from the middle. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine wide. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> that's not right. Oh. Okay, so now I've reshaped this all. I actually need to use the marble that's used in the um, actual mod itself for the outside. Just making sure I've got it all. Yep, there we go. Oh, I just came up with another idea, guys. Um, if you wanted, I could actually continue this um, astral sorcery thing. But I can put it on an unlisted thing if you guys want to... I don't know. Want to watch it like that. So I know a lot of people come here and they're like... They watch me do other stuff and they're like, where's the AVP? And it's just, I don't think they understand that. When I say let's play Minecraft AVP, I mean the, story, the main storyline is focused around the AVP universe. Not that every single episode is going to be me being slaughtering fucking Xenos and Yauchas and all that stuff. So, like, I think people have the misconception that just because it has AVP in the title, it means that every single episode has to have AVP in it. I like playing with other mods, so let me guys, let me know, let me, let me know what you think. I'm just curious. Okay, so, Sudi Marble. Okay. I think I got it. Come on, let me up, please. There we go. And then we just need the pillars. That should be it. I don't think it matters if I connect other stuff onto it. But just to be safe. Let's just connect it up with um, non-astral sorcery blocks. There we go. That is not even, but <laughs> whatever. Cool. Oh yeah, and it it's just after I completely finish this, I realize what the sextant is used for. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Well, lucky I used that cuz I'm using the wrong marble. Marble lock. Okay. <laughs> what do you know? Nice. It's letting me know I've done something wrong. It's really neat. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's hilarious. Is that it? done? I think it's done. No imperfections. Completely done. Okay. Cool. Finished with the altar. Nice. Okay. Um, now that I've finished the altar, I could probably do the other stuff off camera. Just make that little well thing I was talking about. Uh, let me guys know what you think. Um, just curious. I, I could continue doing this. To be honest, I could probably continue doing this for another... Four to five episodes. It's that enjoyable, but um, it's up to you guys. I don't know. Use use watch. Use enjoy watching. Use a 
These are pretty much the reason I keep on um, doing this. One of the reasons. So, just let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see more of this? Um, or do you want to, like, make... Do you want me to do it unlisted? unlisted videos where you can come check it out or I'm not sure because I want to be enjoying myself but I don't want you guys to not be enjoying not be enjoying yourselves as well so it's a symbiotic relationship you know what I mean cool okay guys thanks so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one adios